What's up guys, Stefano here, and today's video we're going to be carrying on with our current mission. So it's the one that's carrying on from the last episode. Now you'll notice that I'm not talking for probably the first maybe three minutes of this current playthrough. It's because I forgot to turn on my mic so I'm doing a wee talk over currently. So you'll see it probably about the three minute mark when my mic comes in. friend to me. Thank you. Okay, let's keep going going. some more stuff down here to get. Did I lift the key? I didn't. I went in and I did the door. what we needed. I'd rather him just jump off but he didn't do it the way I wanted it to. Okay I think we only have a couple more people to kill. is isn't too bad. That food. Probably grab it now yet. Have to repair that. Okay, there's a couple more wee things around here. a 
there's our way in. Okay, we get this or one that's close to us. Got one more to get, which is up here, which is also on our way past these other guys. Then we'll get these first, and then we'll go finish off these guys. That's all the chests in this way area. Let's go out and finish these guys in. Okay, he's our last guy. And he got beheaded. So now that he's free, let's go down and we'll talk to this woman. Rolo's men are free. Now we discuss the terms of the kidnap. Oh, no. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. Okay, we need your help. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout harder than this. Whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here, nor her. You will meet with your men inside Colchester on the night of the Lammas Festival. You will also notice that I have a new top part of the armor put on. It's the one where if you're surrounded by two or more enemies, you get more AC or more defense. I took off our other one and upgraded it just because it worked out better. The other one was only good in the night time. We got four skill points. There's our horse. <laughs> Okay, so we can now go down this way and talk to her. On our way here, you might see me do a couple wee skips, collect everything around here. And that's what I'll do now then. So guys, continuing on from the wee skip, um, we have did everything in that wee area as we were heading to this next wee mission, which is Childhood Sweetheart. While we are here, we may as well go for synchronization. Probably one of the lowest synchronizations I've ever did. Very low down. But then again, we're on top of sort of like a wee hill or mountain range. Just below us is all the cliffs. here. Ok, 
Okay, I seems to be underground. Oh, we can get in through there. The last house in mold. All of it should be here. Bound to be some money or whatever within all these. Be a reason why all of these are in here. Try to blow up. They say we got the one we came for. So what Try has happened? Break. There's something dead, is it? Someone was interrupted preparing the supper. Taken or fled. Sister, is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister. That's all. A day in Essex. Now, here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. Why did they take your sister? Why did they take your sister? Some of Alfred's men beat a child of the village for stealing bread. My sister would not stand by and see injustice done. Do you know where they're holding Olvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. Okay, we can do that, no bar. Is there a way to get... <clears throat> inside this church chapel. Because there is stuff in it. Yep, right here in the well. Oh, what? Never seen this before. Okay, I need the high ground to do that. stuff in here. We got a good amount of stuff there. Then we'll get the last of this remaining stuff that's down here and then we can head to the next mission. This guy can get fucked on. Oh, I thought that was going to go through all in there. Use the shield, so pretty pointless. And you don't dismantle anything in this, so not much use. I have a thirst. Food 
come help me slake it. We will earn some moolah by doing this. Slam it back. Let's see. We'll go for the max amount. <laughs> Breach and you think you can drink? Prove it. Oh, there's a lot to drink here. You're going to start. Okay, we should hopefully win this. We are about half a thing away. Okay, we aren't anywhere. Be kissing a flagstone soon. Okay, perfect. Now I need to talk to someone so I'm not drunk. Shall we drink the drink it up? <laughs> okay, perfect. I'm not as bad now. Four hundred silver is perfect. We got another thing down here to collect. Which is actually inside this house. Oh, it seems like Eivor is feeling the effects now. On the opposite side of the map. So what I do, I will do a fast skip. I'll go and collect these wee bits, fly here then go over because I'm not too sure if any of these are to do with the main missions in. So we'll catch you in one sec. So guys continuing on from our last wee cutoff, we're now on our way to the next part of the mission, Childhood Sweetheart. So it's to find and rescue the woman, uh, Alfreda. We get inside this camp somehow. There's a good one. Guns blazing, as you say. Again, with the key. So a couple of them has keys. You need to go get. It's so dark in this wee area here. And I can't jump up. Oh, can I? Oh, 
Oh, did I not like that much? Did I kill him and stick? Also attack these just to get whatever is on them. Oh, just lever it seems. Get round the side. I'll stage your wealth. If they see me, this will get messy. Okay, so we're lynxes. Boars. Okay, perfect. Got more of them in here. Shit, made up for a way in and I had the key for it. Okay, we got the Galai Galaya Galaya cape, cape I think it is. Should hopefully have the key for this house. Possibly, maybe, maybe not. No, we don't. Okay, well that's a big item. This key should unlock all this cage. Down here, we'll collect it before we open her in case we start running away. Okay, that's let someone in the back. She may be placed to be half to go is inside her building. Oh, it's actually on him. You're gonna die. Gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risked so much to save me? A friend. Of oh. Elurches? Really? I Is he alright? The poor boy? 
Holy like short fuck you going. Someone else who wishes to rekindle a, a friendship. Right, let's get on. Let's go. Okay, we need to take her up here then. for you <laughs> on the way. Rest the saints. Get your Gentler. sister safe and well. Please. You'll soon be safe. Rest easy. Rest now. Soon you will be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshine milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy, but without a father to guide him. He's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him, raised him alone? Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teat. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I'm here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself, but with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida, and with his wife, Estrid, returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the elder man... Oh, God, help me! <sighs> I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He'll come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he'll ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My, my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, what? love? She has? My mean heart he has? feels like it will burst. <laughs> and this is Elric. And this young lad is Elric, Alvida's brother. Hello, your... your... Worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... How old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Beerstan. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Ellerich, I'd suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. <laughs> I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Dear Beerston, I cannot believe you. Okay, our new quest is called Taken. So we just need to go back to here, so we will do this.
the loading screens are so fast now with the Xbox Series X, just loads instantly. I didn't speak to Rado. Okay, where is this guy? Have a look, okay, it's in that area. <laughs> Let's get the bird's eye view of it. Some more guards up here. Nothing too much to handle. How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Um. Wait for my signal. my signal. When I approach Estrid, that is your time. I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. I think so too. Okay, so she's making her way around to us, so we can just sit here until she makes her way around. My head is spinning with the mead and fires. I might even dance a jig or two. Laris is like honey, luscious and sweet. A night to get lost in the pure joy. No, she's going away. Okay, we need to get to your woman. I am ready when the time comes. Stand down, you Saxon dogs! The Lady of Essex is ours! Upgrade a move. So good. You're coming with me. So I need to carry her oh, like this way. Odin's beard. The wooden fool a child of that howl. Horse. Where's my horse from the way? Okay, we've made it right. Just need to get her to the destination now. We are safe enough to walk, I think. Aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. <laughs> My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. 
A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Is my vote. Okay, I've made it there. It is done. And all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if Beerstens will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate. Let's get you some mead. <laughs> Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. I should find Birsten. No doubt he's hunting again. So we can talk to these guys. I am proud of us. We did a good thing for Estrid and the Lord. Maybe now we can all be happy. Made me feel young again. And I have you to thank. You believe me, though I was a coward. Won't make that mistake again. A rude worthy of the trickster Loki. The sheer woman stolen by us, mere mortal. What lies ahead, I wonder? A new life, or an old life renewed. My old life, Frankia. Mon Dieu, I feel as if I have been sleepwalking these past years, waiting for something to shake me awake. Did you dream West? Is Rolo not the man to shake you awake? Isn't Rolo the man to shake you awake? He adores you. Rolo's still a boy, with boyish dreams. But he's honest. He could love you if you gave him a chance. It'd be quite a match. Ah, do you not know me better, Evo? Mon petit coeur est blessé. Come, I am suddenly chilly. Let us join the others by the fire. <laughs> a ruse worthy of the trickster Loki. They're even stolen by us mere mortals. Hello, she said. Can we talk to her now? I actually might be able to get in here. Must be blocked from the other side. I wasn't originally able to get into that place. Seems as if we can talk to her, maybe. Right, well, that's okay. So we'll go and we'll head back to this guy. 
it'll be faster for us just to run there instead of doing the fast travel because if I fast travel I'll be stuck in this town which means I won't be able to go full speed on the horse out of it so this will be way faster one quarter of the way there. If I was I'd probably be only getting into the city now, trying to make my way out, but I wouldn't be able to start running yet. We are now about halfway there. We're at the next mission spot. My eyes, Susan. Okay, I'm back. Here we go. A man, his dog, and the outdoors. What greater pleasure can there be? Beeston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart. You who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! Okay, I wonder what we're hunting. Let's take a bit of all of this. Don't think he needs it. What are we hunting now? Boar! A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebolt. How wondrously strange. Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress? Fiston, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance would be worthless. Have no fear. I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lammas. Will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Olvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. Oh, let's see them all down there. Wonders you're going to be one of them big main boars that with the kill. Some 
my <laughs> okay, so I just got racked straight away okay I see some more boars over here There's also one right there somewhere. We did well, Eivor. A good hunt, Besten. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I've been nothing but amused. They are a welcome change to warring yarls and piss-sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beeston, the heart hound, who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ. Do we have to escort him back? Oh, do. What are your plans for Essex and your family? There is much that is new in this old fling. Alvida is changed. The girl I fell in love with lies behind years of hardship. And Elleridge? A soft lad, but with a heart as stout as his sister's. Their closeness does them both credit. The way he looks at me is often strange. His eyes furtive and downcast, like a hound waiting for his master's crop. It worries me, to be honest. Can I be both a brother to him and a love to his sister? Give him time, Beeston. He had his sister to himself all his life. Yes, yes. But tell me, Abel. Did you succumb to my flighted bird's charms? She can turn one a tremble with her eyes. You're talking of Estrid? Do not be coy. It does not suit you. Are you jealous, Piston? After casting her aside? Of course not. I could not be happier. I only wondered for her sake. All that to say, I am only glad she has found a chance at happiness again. Lord knows I could not give her that. But these are grim thoughts, and I will not let them lay their cold grip upon me. Tonight, we feast and celebrate. <laughs> this area is off limits. Off with you. Okay, I need to go up to here, up the tracking. Elderman's house. Help! What 
I don't think he's heard of them. Hurry back, Beston. I will join you later. Maybe you just stir the soul as the hunt did. But now, my Alpha is here. All is changed. Yeah, I'll let him go first. Oh, Bearston. You promised we would never be apart. Not for one waking or sleeping moment. And already, you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> for the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt. One that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet? A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that lamish shadow play? Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you, and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still. His wife freshly stole him, and you are no more than... than his... I am the mother of his child, you well... Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never. <laughs> My lord, joyous news. God smiles upon us this very day. Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. Oh, shit. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. Well, that's mad. Her brother was actually her son. What are these guys? Estrid should have ruled this land. I would have followed her anywhere. Are you leering at me, Lord? Your Beerstons, High Dane, do not think what you did went unseen. Yet tell me one thing. Is Estrid safe and happy? She's happy. That much I know. Good. Now leave. And if we meet again, you will fall by my sword. Okay, so where do we need to be? We need to be down there. We could fast travel, make things easier. Esther is so close to freedom. I hope I'm not too late. men have found you! What? How can this be? Lork, stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. If she's taken, all is lost for us in this Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! I would say he... Lark. Yeah, he will probably die, like, trying to save someone. Which he did. Release the woman, Danes! If she's on her... This person, what's happened? Now you pay. Keep all good time and gone up.
Oh my god, I actually died because I blew up. What the hell? I think that's like one of the first times, if not the first time I actually died. Other than doing, um, like the big base mission type things. Or them god type people, the three of them. Because I'm near 100% sure I haven't fallen to my death. Oh, that's unlucky. Let's redo this, we bit again. Rolo! Okay, we know what, what happens. How can this be? Lork, stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. If she's come, lady, it would not. Watch out! Lork! Release the woman, Danes! Throw the weapon. Oh, let's get away from here to hell. Nope. Let's revive this person. I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. Frank here awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you, Eivor. When winter is past, summer will come and wind you in a flowered skirt. For you are beauty, and shall not wither. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will expect you in my hall. Good. They are safe. Weston got his end of the bargain, and Estrid is to Frank here. I should return to Randby. Okay, that's perfect. We completed the Essex arc. So, what I can do is I can go around the map and collect everything else from this place that isn't the main story wise. Have we got six skill points in? We do. Let's start playing some. What comes after them?
Health, melee damage, light resistance. Ah, for these, same good. Light attack damage. Okay, that seems perfect. So guys, I will end this wee episode here, and then in the next episode we will head and head back to Ramvi, talk to her, and then start our next story arc. So if you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and thanks again for watching.